Well, hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, I'm gonna replace the slave cylinder, um, everything that I, that's involved with the new hoses, um, just just everything needs to be changed. It's, it's got some dry cracked hoses, they're kind of seeping, so it's time. Um, I thought I could get away with uh, not doing it, but I need to do it. Um, I'm about ready to put the hood on after this. This is the last thing. And I figure this will be easy to get to without the hood on. So today I'm going to do that and I'm going to get the hood on. And so it'll, it'll be good. And then we'll be ready to take it on its first test drive. So um, I'll kind of show you what I'm dealing with here. If you can kind of look here. But if you kind of look here, I've got the reservoir right here. And you can kind of see this hose. I mean, it is cracked and... It's just, it's really, I mean, look how bad that hose is. It's time to change it, especially if this is going to be a daily. And then, uh, and then I have a new one of these, but this one looks pretty good. I blew out the seals down below on the slave cylinder down there. So, um, I do need to get those. Well, I have a brand new one and I have a new hose. So I'm going to change the hose all the way down there. I'm going to change this hose out. And then re-bleed them. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this is good. I, I, I'm not, it's not leaking. It's functioning properly. Um, so I do have a new master cylinder here. So that's, that's good. If I need to change it, I might as well replace it. So we'll just see where I get. And, and uh, there's the part number there for the master cylinder. And then I've got the slave cylinder here. I purchased all these parts from Summit, and uh, there's the part number for that. We're upside down there. But. And then I did get a new hose, and there's the part number for that. And then I had to get another hose. Uh, I was just ordering stuff off Summit, and this is just a hydraulic hose for the reservoir. So um, I got that from Will Wood. So, um, but we'll go ahead and get this stuff put in. Um, get changed out. I just kind of want to show you guys what I'm doing and, and what I have here. So we'll get moving along and uh, we'll have some fun. All right, so I got a mess of wires here. But you can kind of see right here off the clutch pedal, this master cylinder, this is the the rod that goes to the clutch pedal so i'm just going to do that spring up there i wanted to show you what i was doing before i did it and that way i can just swap them out so go ahead and get that spring out and move that rod just to make sure they're the same wow the new one's built a lot better look at the difference in the quality there is the same thread. I don't want any surprises when I get up there and after it's installed. So that screws right in. Cool. Okay. So the length looks the same. Everything looks the same. So that is definitely good to know. Looks like the old one just had zip strips on, so maybe I'll just stick some zip strips on there. Okay, let's get this put in. Okay, and while I'm right here, I'm going to disconnect the old um, reservoir here and clean it out real good. But it's a little dirty inside, so... Let me get rid of some of the fluid. You kind of see all the crap in the bottom of that reservoir. So you know that joke about, you gotta check the clutch fluid back in the day before they had hydraulic clutches. <laughs> yeah, here's a clutch fluid, ha ha. <laughs> Let's get underneath. All right, hey guys, there's the slave cylinder, um, basically I just got to undo these two bolts here and here and then undo 
the hose. So it's gonna be hard to show you that, so I'm just gonna do that, but I just kinda wanna show you what I'm doing. And then you got your rod and everything here. So um, we'll get that swapped out. All right, so I got that out in the line. Um, I've got the new line here. I'm just gonna double check and make sure it is the same. The bends may not be exactly, and it's a little bit longer, but I'm sure it will work. And I'm gonna transfer this clip over to here. Let's just drop that back down in there. Oh, one minute, before I do that, let's make sure the threads are good. So now here's the other slave cylinder here. Comes with a new rod, new seal. Let's just put it side by side here. So it looks the same, it's just built better than this one. It's a little different. Just like the other one, this one's just a lighter duty. Doesn't look like it came with new nuts. Kind of surprised about that one. I don't see any new nuts here. So. Make sure those are the same, which, oh, they are the same, okay. And let's just make sure this screws in, which it definitely does, so. And that guy's just going to slide in here like so. So there we go. So I'm going to get under the truck, put this on, hook all the lines up, and we should be good. Let's stick this down. All right guys, so got all this installed, got the new reservoir in, uh, got the new uh, master cylinder, new lines all the way down, and then I bled them, the bleeder's down below. Um, you probably won't be able to see, but the, the bleeder's just actually right there on top above where that fitting is. So basically what I had to do was had someone press the clutch pedal after I bled all the air out of uh, the slave cylinder down there. So I squeezed it in, opened the valve up, and then open, close. So open, push clutch in, close, let clutch out, open, push clutch in, out. So just repeat back and forth, but hopefully that helps you. Um, not a very good video, but guys, hit subscribe. Check out more of my videos, but I, I appreciate you guys and hopefully you enjoy the video.